here. Today I'm playing Ark Survival Evolved, no mods, just the vanilla version of Ark, and I am going to show you how to build a simple thatch hut. Really, a thatch hut is one of the most important things that you need probably starting out in the game. It'll ensure that you have shelter from the elements and shelter from other animals. So one of the first things you're going to do is you're going to gather fiber. How you do that is you're going to go up to your plants and press E. That'll allow you to pick fiber and other berries. Once I have all the fiber that I want, I'm going to come over to one of these trees here and I'm going to hit it with my pickaxe and it'll drop all of the thatch that I need. You might have to hit more than one tree to get all the thatch. Um, and then I'm going to take my axe. And I'm also going to gather some wood from a tree. That's actually probably plenty of materials. Oh, I have the engrams learned already for this. So I'm going to go into crafting and I'm going to build just a small simple hut. So I'm going to right click on the engram that I want to build. The first one is going to be a thatch foundation. I'm going to select one, and there I am, building a thatch foundation. Alternatively, you can hover over your ingram with your mouse and press E, and it will craft it. So I'm going to craft three. Whoop! I need to gather some more materials. What do I need? You can also hover over and it'll show you which materials you need to gather to craft the particular item. So apparently I need more fiber. I'm gonna come over to these plants, put away my hatchet, and gather fiber. Let's see. I need a lot more fiber than I thought I did. Oh, look! There's a Lestrosaurus! Such a cutie! I should tame it, shouldn't I? Okay. Back to the crafting. Now we'll go back into my crafting tab. And I will craft two more thatch walls. A door frame. And I think I already crafted a door. Yep, I did. So I have everything I need to start building it. I'm going to right click on the thatch foundation. And press place. Of course, you can also hover over what you want to place and press E. I'm gonna, let's see, I want it right next to the water. Because who doesn't want to wake up looking next to the water? Next, one single mouse click and you can rotate the items that you want to place. Click it again and it places it, just like that. It's magic. Well, not quite. It's just dark. Now I'm going to place some of the walls. I want one wall there. Let's see. One wall on the back. One wall over here. I'm going to place the roof on top like that. I'm going to place the thatch door frame in the front, facing the water, because again, I love the water. I like to get up every morning right by the water. Okay, and then you just click to place the door frame. Now I'm going to place the door. It's important to note that you do need to craft the door frame to place the door. Because the door frame is actually what the door will snap to. The door has to have particular snap points. For instance, I can't place the door over here. Like the note says, no snap point. And I can't place it on the side of the hut in a wall. It has to be in a door frame. 
So, here it is in the door frame. If you want to enter the hut, you just go up to the door, press E, and it'll open the door. Nice! Now I get to wake up every morning to this pretty view out here. It's so wonderful. Let's exit the building. And we'll press E to close the door again. Now, you can also add whatever finishing touches that you want. Me, I'm going to make a sign. Added one wooden sign. Yay. And I'm going to come and place it right next to my house. Marking my own territory. There. And I'm going to set the text. It's going to say Crazy Kate's Humble Teeny Little House. Because that's what it is. A humble teeny little house. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time on my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you.